My aunt Helena and her partner Elizabeth had bought a house in Palm Springs and my entire family was there to celebrate for Thanksgiving. My grandparents, their four kids and spouses, and the grandkids. That's a total of 14 people in a four bedroom, four bath house with plenty of couches and other areas to sleep and hang out in. We are clearly a close family and family is very important to us. My aunts had gone grocery shopping and the whole family was outside getting the bags out of their Range Rover. Helene and Elizabeth have a Rhodesian Ridgeback dog named Bella, who was at this time about a year old but still very large. Bella is beyond friendly and more afraid of people than they are of her. She was loose in the front yard and minding her own business when their neighbors, a couple in their late 50s, early 60s, walked past with their two Yorkshire Terriers. They saw Bella and immediately picked up their dogs because they were afraid. She is a very large dog and easily terrifying to anyone that doesn't know her, but these people had seen Bella before and yelled at my aunts anyways to put her on a leash. When my aunts saw them coming, they immediately attempted to grab Bella because they knew the neighbors had a problem with her. Unfortunately, Bella ran over to them and playfully smelled them and the dogs in their arms. The couple immediately started screaming like Bella was going to attack them. My aunts had problems with them before and one time they even called Animal Patrol on my aunts and said Bella was vicious. When Animal Control showed up, they thought my aunts were hiding the dog because there was no way Bella was the vicious dog the couple was complaining about. When the couple was screaming at my aunts this particular occasion, my entire family was there to witness it. The couple was beyond rude and started calling them degrading names referring to their sexual orientation. They shouted things like, go back to San Francisco, and from there it just escalated to vulgar names and derogatory slang that was used to attack them. My family, being Italian, Ecuadorian, and Irish, meaning we are complete hotheads, and like any other family, we do not take well to other people treating our family in such a degrading way. It ended up being a screaming match in the middle of my aunt's driveway the day before Thanksgiving. Even my brother, who was only 12 at the time, was screaming at them. It was so embarrassing for my aunts to be treated like that, and I knew it hurt them immensely. My family tried to comfort them, but I've never witnessed firsthand someone's sexual orientation who they are as a person, being used against them in such an aggressive, demeaning way. The couple ended up getting kicked out of their gated community because they had issues with a lot of the neighbors who lived nearby, but I was still amazed at how inconsiderate and ignorant they could be. It was shocking to see someone dehumanized in such a way because of a dog being off-leash. I can't believe there are people who use things that someone identifies as against them. I know we hear about these things all the time, but personally witnessing it or being the victim of it is a truly devastating thing to endure. I changed as a person because of this experience. I like to think that I grew up. I learned to realize that the world is not perfect and there are people who don't agree with the lifestyles we choose. The LGBTQ culture faces discrimination and aggression all the time, and it took a personal experience for me to understand what people that identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, questioning, or queer have to go through on a regular basis. I've come to be more observant when people are being discriminated against, and I'd like to think I would interfere or assist if someone was being treated in such a terrible way. I strongly believe that this experience, although cruel and traumatizing, has ultimately made me a better person. My identity might not have changed, but my character has grown and developed for the best.